I used to feel uncomfortable about the street art sort of label, and, it, and it's a weird one, isn't it? Because it kind of, but but I kind of think it's right, really. Now, it's not graffiti, but it's informed by it, and a little bit by comic art, and like the vessel for it is like t-shirts, skateboards, snowboards. That's our canvas, I guess, isn't it? You know, it's a moving, used sort of. Thing. Throughout the ages, people have always tried to confine art to being a part of a movement so they can understand it and discuss it over glasses of wine and cheese and try and make some more relevance out of something that it doesn't need. And I think the minute you try and label movements and call them something while it's in the middle of evolving, you're, you're stifling it. They told me in art school repeatedly that it's a language of communication and you're supposed to use these tools to tell the world something and make it a better place. And uh, for me, if you just throw your stuff in galleries, you're kind of communicating with an audience that can afford to be a part of that. You know, you get to a level where you've been doing something for 10 or 12 years and your paintings become worth a certain amount of money. And at that point, you've leveled out anybody who really can't afford to be a part of what you're talking about. Everywhere you look, there's advertisements. And these advertisements are spawned from people's desire to sell products, to make money. They're not there because, I mean, it's great when someone tries to make a funny advert or try and be humorous or, but at the end of the day, they're, they're trying to make you buy their, their product. And so on the street, for a lot of artists, it's really fun to compete against that. Because if you consider the street art and the stencils and the graffiti, it's all for free. It's done for free by people just willing and enthusiastic to try and make their city look, look better. I think that's, for the majority, that's what a lot of people are trying to do. Some people are trying to just destroy the city, so that's their opinion. That's up to them. If I can make people um, walking through the streets with watching what's going on around them, it's uh, cool, it's nice. And sometimes, yeah, you can make people happy, doing more or less just what you love. So I don't want to pay just one character, I want to do what I want. And at the moment it's this huge animal, it's black and white, with a lot of fur. I like to draw this. I know a lot of people would probably think this is selling out to be on a tour and it's promoted by a brand and at the end of the day we're trying to make the brand look cool and they want to be associated with good events but I'm not sure it's so black and white as that. Uh, the guy, the guy Yuskun uh, making this happen is a good friend of everyone. I think that's half the point. Uh, that it's not just about the art, it's about a family vibe and an incredible lifestyle for, for three weeks. But I... Uh, as far as the, the brand goes, they haven't interfered too much. They haven't had big banners up everywhere and they're just supporting a good art project. And, and you know, in my eyes, it does make them look cooler, even though, like, uh, I don't care so much about brands or clothes or, or the politics of all that. I mean, you've, got, you've just got to get on and do your thing, enjoy yourself. Uh, and this tour has been a great example of that. Made some great artwork all together and made a few horrible things, but always it. It had some purpose, always there was challenges throughout the days, mentally, physically, socially, that I think most of us have overcome. And I think we'll all leave the tour with a, with a, a lot clearer idea of uh, each other and probably of ourselves. <laughs> I'm really 
really grateful for being here and appreciate the experience and you know not in a corny way but these are memories I'll cherish when I'm an old man and the important milestones in my life these are people I'll contact and let them know about it and it's never going to be the big bulk email to let them know when my big fat art show is or when my stupid project's finished it's more like hey I'm getting married or hey I lost a leg but it's, that's the connection I've made with these guys not some massive art movement bullshit it's more like I made some good friends and that's a really rad thing no matter how you did it be it at the plumbers convention or the you know whatever your job is and however you wind up interacting with other human beings I feel really fortunate that mine's led me to other creative people like-minded folks and uh, made new friends for life halfway around the world yeah.